We are two weeks into the new year, and let's face it, some of us probably might have already given up on New Year's resolutions, and if eating lighter was a promise you made, we've got some help just in time. Chef Jonathan Collins is in the AM Kitchen this morning to lend a hand just to kind of really bump up our idea of salad, too. Don't give up. Oh, don't give, don't up. give up. It's too early. And there's never a case where a chef would go traveling and not bring something back to change, no, right? No. You just got back from beautiful Napa. Yeah, we were in Napa Valley and uh, completely inspired by a really simple dish, and the thing that I like about simplicity is that it's repeatable. Yeah. So people will do it again and again. Uh, if you have had any trouble hanging on to your New Year's resolutions, <laughs> these ingredients will help you. And in particular, because of their simplicity, yeah. and it gives you that punch of energy that you need, and it can be some of it can be made ahead. Okay, and Even uh, better. Yeah, and it I tastes like great. It tastes, okay, <laughs> if it tastes great, then it, then it's easy to yeah. do all the time. So let's start with some really powerful superfoods. Uh, kale, yep. as you know, lots of antioxidants. The thing I like about oh, you're uh, not even going to chop it by hand. Well, no, that's there. the nice thing about having a decent blender yeah. is that it'll power right through all of the ingredients, and you can make a really beautiful smoothie. Okay. That's I've got some kale, tip. yeah, very important. And then uh, apple, just cored, okay. skin on. Lots of nutrients yep. in that. Don't and have to banana. Peel them. I like that too. Yeah, <laughs> and and you can see how fast yeah. this is, right? Potassium from the banana. We'll put a whole banana in. This is enough for two people. Okay. And then some beautiful Greek yogurt. Yes. So that's going to give some great richness, and you know. I'll bind it. Absolutely. Nice That's texture. Nice, yeah, and just plain. Just flavor. plain. Yes, just plain flavor, no sugar. And this can be either almond milk or coconut milk. Okay. Whatever you prefer. Great flavor there as well. Yeah. And a little bit of honey. So the nice clover honey will be fragrant, add a okay. little bit of sweetness. And of course, honey is 10 times sweeter than sugar. So you get a little bit of so sweetness. You don't need as much. You don't need as much. And of course, honey is very good for, for you, especially if you buy it from a local purveyor. Right. Uh, because that way you get some of those uh, great ingredients. Chia. Oh, okay. And flax. And one of the things about having the blender is it will break up these seeds. And they're much better for you when they're broken up. Yeah, because it releases all the good stuff in it. Exactly. It's passing through. So a little bit of ice. And okay. nice thing about adding ice here is that it will keep the mixture cool, preventing some of the destruction from the heat. Okay. And keeping all of those uh, nutrients alive and well. And it's as simple as that's the thing, right? Okay. You can have all these ingredients preset in the in the refrigerator, and we just hit start. Yeah. It'll break everything up in no time at all. So left on the Hurricane Pro, it's about a one minute cycle. Okay. But for us and television, we've got one that's ready to go. Already. So you can see the beautiful oh, look at, texture. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a quick uh, pour here. And you that's can see really it. interesting about the seeds breaking up though, because I have heard that you know you need to have them ground up a little bit to get the stuff out of them. And I didn't really think that a blender would do that. Well, most blenders don't. Okay. Uh, this this it's a one. good quality one. <laughs> yeah, the Cuisinart Hurricane mm -hmm. Pro is something that will actually uh, power right through it. So you can see that beautiful texture. And uh, I'll let you just How hang on nice. to that. You might, uh, How long will this keep if you make it ahead? You should make it ahead and keep it for maybe 24 hours mm. to get the most out of it. That's so lovely. It's nice, right? Yeah. Okay, that so is this lovely. is easy to do. So let's move on to our okay. salad, okay? Mm -hmm. So this was that salad that was inspired in Napa. So what we've got as a base, uh, you can really do it two, way, two ways. You can use some of these beautiful microgreens. So we've got sorrel and arugula. This is available in stores, and you can just simply get it and snip it as you go. So it stays, it's not going to spoil as fast because it's still growing in your fridge. for weeks, exactly. Perfect. So that's one way, or a classic chopped salad. Mm -hmm. So we've got some radicchio and some kale in here as well as romaine. But then what we're going to do is we're going to add things like, and I've just blanched off some green beans. Yep. And they're nice, so nice and green. That's oh, perfect. Yeah, and some... Broccoli. Mm -hmm. Again, just a quick blanch of these as well. Yeah. I like the texture, just a little bit of bite. The other thing is it will hold in the refrigerator oh, much longer. Okay. okay. And then some fresh herbs. So mm -hmm. we've got some beautiful, there, smell that. That's just, you know, some mm. fresh dill. And we don't need to be fussy about this and chop it up. We can actually just kind of arrange that in there. We're going to oh, mix nice. that up. Okay. And then some fresh basil. So what we'll do is we'll just kind of make a little cigar out of these. Very quickly. Chop basil and the yep. dill together. Yep. Nice. Yep. And just so the fresh herbs bring it to life. Okay. 
I'm putting all that in. Put, How do yeah. you finish that off so, in, the, in the next 10 seconds? In the next 10 <laughs> seconds, uh, a little bit of sunflower. Yep. And the really important ingredient here. So this is interesting. So this is quinoa. Yeah. It's a white and black organic quinoa. So this will add great protein, especially for vegans and right. vegetarians. It's beautiful. The texture is really nice. And it can be prepared, let's say, on a Monday. Okay. And you can use it all week long in different dishes. But if you're going to put it in the chopped set, like you want to add it when you eat it? like, Or do, is that going to keep no, just no, like that? No, no. Make this, for example, if you're taking it to lunch at work, make this. And just wait to add the dressing. Yeah. So add the dressing just before you eat it. But other than that, this will hold perfectly. And what dressing do you so the like. dressing we're going to assemble is a stone ground mustard dressing. Okay. So if we, are we out of time? We're, we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to take a we'll commercial back. break and then we'll come back and you can show us the dressing. Wonderful. That looks awesome already, it'll, even yes. without the dressing. Exactly. Thank you. Okay, we'll be right back. And you, by the way, the recipes will be on our website, canadaam.ctvnews.ca. Yeah.